Hello everybody, my name is Federico Plevic, and today I will be speaking about pub power. Now all the students just gave me a weird look in the room because they know that this has been the source of controversy here at our college for the past couple of weeks. For those of us who don't know, pub power was a movement started by a group of people to make the pub a common place for lunch for many Hamilton students, a more inclusive place. Now, as a white passing Hispanic immigrant, I can't say I know that feeling. I haven't been to pub many times, but the few times I have, I haven't felt out of place. I felt welcomed, and I felt like I could just sit down for lunch. So of course, I cannot understand what it's like to not have that feeling. However, today I'm not here to talk about politics, and I'm not here to talk about either side of pub power. I'm here to talk about how proud I am of our students in the way that they handled the situation. Now, Pub Power was started because a group of people wanted to sit down for lunch. We've heard the story before. Whether it's a Woolworth sit down or any other situation in American history, people who have felt oppressed decided that they needed to take action. Now, instead of rioting, causing violence, or doing something that be, would be frowned upon, these students simply decided to sit down and have lunch. Now, not all people were happy about this. However, these students demonstrated our constitutional values. You see, not only is it the constitutional value of freedom of speech, it's the constitutional value of freedom of assembly. Of course, these students were expressing their opinions, they were also joining together for a common purpose. Now, as I mentioned, not everyone's gonna be happy about that. There was a big piece in The Spectator stating how a student felt that he was not being represented properly by this movement. Now, this student could have gone out and caused an outcry and gone out and done something violent, but rather, he took to pen. Would an Alexander Hamilton, author of so many Federalists, be proud of him? <laughs> he took to pen and he wrote what he thought. Again, not everyone was going to agree with this said student who wrote his opinions. And once again, Hamilton demonstrated its maturity and how we can really be adults by writing back to him. Whether it was Facebook or another article in The Spectator, students wrote back to the student. There was no violence, no one was harmed or injured physically, and there was no repercussions from Hamilton that had to send out a message from President Whitman. Now in response to what happened, the original organizers of Pub Power did what I am most proud of to speak of today. They went before Student Assembly. Now many people don't think of Student Assembly as the all saying power here on campus, rather as mentioned before by some other students, it's the trustees and the alumni. However, Student Assembly is our voice. And by going in front of Student Assembly, students represent our voice. These students, as opposed to becoming angry at the writer of the response or other students who may simply have had a disagreement with them, took to our government. Now take a look at the United States today. Can't even count on both my hands how many problems there are with this country. People are violent and there's hate and discrimination seen everywhere. Now imagine if Americans could have taken the route that Hamilton students took, simply a peaceful protest. And in response to that peaceful protest, writing and a simple expression of ideas. No harm, no physical violence, no hatred, no bigotry, simply writing. And the best part of that is, it allowed for thought and discourse. It allowed for people to go up to one another and say, hey, what do you think of this piece? I saw what you wrote. Can I talk to you about it? It's a beautiful thing. Our founding fathers didn't simply create the freedom of speech and the freedom of assembly for us to look at it and argue. They created it for us to argue over it. They created it so that we would see how great it is. Now I know this is a persuasive essay and I know you're all Hamilton students. So I'm speaking to you not as Hamilton students, but as members of this country and citizens of the world. Look at what happened with pub power and take it as an example. 
see that we are more than capable of violence and of harm, and that we are capable of really expressing words and seeing each other as human beings. We are capable of doing so much more than simply what we think we can do. Thank you.